Hello, bacho. let's read the given question. The question says a wire of density 9 into 10 raised to 3 kg per meter cube is stretched between two clamps 1 meter apart and is subjected to an extension of 4.9 10 raised to minus 4 meter. What will be the lowest frequency of the transverse vibration in the wire? Y is given as 9 into 10 raised to 10 newton per meter square. Option 1 38 hertz, option 2 36 hertz, option 3 35 hertz, option 4 32 hertz. So uh, to understand the question, uh, there are few concepts we need to be clear with. First of all, let's talk about let's suppose uh, a wire when we clamp between two rigid support. Ke beech mein. So uh, when it vibrates under the fundamental mode, so this situation is given something like this. Okay, so we can understand this way for a fundamental mode or for the case of first harmonic, we can say this way. The number of loop form is 1. And we know यहाँ पे जो हम देख सकते हैं, there are two nodes on the uh, fixed end. So दो नोड के बीच की जो uh, distance होती है, that is given by lambda by two, and that will be representing the length of wire. ठीक है? So from this also we know कि जो wave travel करती है, uh, that is transverse wave which is traveling in the string, it is given by the formula V equals to under root T by mu, where T is the tension in the string, mu is nothing but it is the linear density or mass per unit length basically so uh to fundamental frequency I here we can say it has to be 1 by 2l under root of t by mu so yeah expression of yaad rakhna this is the fundamental frequency of vibration of a string clamp between two ends uh yeah fir first harmonic bhi hume se keh sakte uh also uh we can say agar hum baat kare young's modulus ki so young modulus ki basically it is the uh, ratio of longitudinal stress to longitudinal strain longitudinal stress ko hum likh sakte hain tension per unit area into strain hota hai change in length upon original length so niche aayega change in length upon original length that means this will be the case so uh ab yahi all uh, these are the few important result that we need to keep in mind take अब mu that is mass per unit length है, so इसको हम क्या लिख सकते हैं rho into density mass को हम rho into uh, volume density into volume लिख सकते हैं upon l, और volume can further be written as area of cross section into length, right? so यहाँ से ही we can say finally mu की जगह पे हम rho into a लिख सकते हैं, right? so these are few important thing we need to uh, be clear with. अब uh, जो यहाँ पे we can say जो हमें सिचुएशन गिवन है उसमें फंडामेंटल मोड पे लोएस्ट फ्रीक्वेंसी मींस द फंडामेंटल फ्रीक्वेंसी और द हार्मोनिक फर्स्ट हार्मोनिक ठीक सो यहां पे वी विल फर्स्ट ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड के n को हम लिख सकते हैं 1 2l अंडर रूट ऑफ t by t into l upon m you can uh, mu ko हमने m by l लिख दिया सो so, t into l को फ्रॉम दिस एक्सप्रेशन हम क्या लिख सकते हैं t into l को लिखा जा सकता है y into a into delta l divided by mass mass को हमने जैसे discuss किया mass को हम लिख सकते हैं density into area right and area के साथ साथ हमें length भी consider करनी पड़ेगी यहाँ पे because यहाँ पे हमने we have seen के हमने mass per unit length लिखा है यहाँ और यहाँ हम सिर्फ mass ले रहे हैं ठीक है so L has to be taken in, uh, into consideration. ठीक. So now just हमें अब value substitute करनी होगी. So uh, to get the final answer, हमें one meter length given है into under root of y हमें given है nine into ten raised to ten area of cross section. Uh, we don't have that value, so यहाँ से हम वैसे भी देख सकते हैं वो cancel हो रहा है. Delta L हमें given है that is change in length or extension that is four point nine into ten raised to minus four. Divided by density, हमें given है nine into ten raised to three. Length again हमें one given है, so nine nine यहाँ से cancel हो सकता है. So ये result आएगा हमारे पास one by two under root of. यहाँ पे ten raised to ten uh, six six three uh, ten raised to three, so ten raised to two into forty nine. So ये हो जाएगा हमारे पास seventy by two and that comes out to be thirty five. Alright, so this is the answer to the question which match over option C3. So I hope you understood the solution. All the best.